welcome this Brian. We're going to this mid 18th century book that looks like this. The thing uh, that I will point out first off is that the covers are detached, which uh, is not good. However, it is a samelbond of separate publications and there are five of them within it. So this binding is not original uh, to these works uh, at any rate. This is uh, most likely a mid to late 19th century uh, binding. Uh, and we'll see by the title page here that the first imprint is London, 1736. This entire uh, work here is a compilation of five separate works that uh, focus on the persecution or prosecutions of Quakers in England um, for uh, tithing, uh, back taxes, and I'll set this front cover here like this. That'll make the book easier to go through uh, to show you. The first section is essentially a catalog of every Quaker in uh, by county in England who has been prosecuted uh, for back tithes. Uh, here we have the second imprint, 1740 London. It's a vindication uh, of of uh, that first work. And we have here <clears throat> this third uh, work, which is Mr. Wollstone's defense of his discourses. This is 1729. And this is followed next by this imprint here, 1744. And this is by a moral philosopher, <laughs> as opposed to an immoral or unmoral philosopher. <laughs> And that is also followed by this examination of a book lately printed by the Quakers uh, and distributed in the Parliament. Uh, and this is uh, by the Naptons, famous firm in London. And this is 17, uh, well, let me see what that says there. This is 1741. And there we go. Like I say, the covers are detached. However, the text block is still tight and sound. Uh, as it was first originally sewn uh, for this uh, binding. And the, all of these works are quite scarce individually together like this. Uh, this is a unique uh, Samuel Bond, and it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.